Chris Ma from Triple S Polaris here in beautiful Cedar City. I have Andy DeSoto from Craftworks. Um, we're going to be talking about superchargers and turbos. Andy, why don't you go ahead and tell us about yourself. What's up guys? My name is Andy DeSoto. I work remotely for Craftworks in St. George, Utah. And we do a lot of testing there, a lot of uh, marketing. And I'm here with Chris today and I'm excited to talk about our new and up and coming products and let's do it. So tell us more about Craftworks now. Yeah, so Craftworks uh, is a sister company for Skunk 2 Racing. Uh, we've been in the industry for 27 years now. Uh, we do anything from superchargers for Mustangs, Camaros, uh, Razors, KRX, YXZs. Uh, the only one we don't do is the Talon and we have a turbo kit and we can get into those details later. What is the difference between a supercharger and a turbo? So I'm glad you asked, Chris. Uh, they're, the style of supercharger that we use is basically like a turbo kit. The only difference is a turbo is obviously ran with exhaust gas and our superchargers run with a belt off the crank. Cool. So what kind of reliability uh, comes with one of these uh, products on your machine? So you can be assured um, they're very reliable. Uh, one of the reasons is we take extra steps uh, to make sure that our products are ready for release. Um, you might have noticed that our Pro Kit hasn't released yet, and that's mainly because we want to make sure that everything is squared away before we offer it to the public. It's kind of like Polaris, man. We, we've spent hours and hours and miles and miles of testing before we release something um, due to our belts, uh, oil filters, oils, all that stuff. So we really appreciate someone testing it out and not just throwing a piece of product out there for the consumers to, to, uh, to eat up. So what kind of uh, customers are you looking for for, a, for for one of these superchargers? So as you may notice that all of our applications for our kits are, normal, are naturally aspirated vehicles uh, when it comes to the KRX, the, the Razor non-turbo, the YXZ, the Talon. Um, we found out that these machines they're, they're obviously great machines, but as soon as you accessorize them with bigger tires, you put a cage on it, uh, a stereo system, people in the back seats, wench, you're always looking for a little bit more power. And that's, that's the market that we're targeting is just not the people that want to go extremely fast uh, yeah. with an unreliable kit, but that's, that's and, what we and make it, is it a, It's a bolt-on kit, right? Everything bolts up. There's no cutting, welding. It's just a reflash of the ECU six to eight hours of labor time installing it and you're ready to roll. T touch base on that labor, you say, you say it's six to eight hours, that's, you can do this in a day? Absolutely, so obviously we're all at different mechanical levels. <laughs> right. um, myself, I'd like to mention that I'm YouTube certified. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but it, it's very straightforward. Um, it's just nuts and bolts really. Cool. I mean, we don't want you to go install this yourself. You should be bringing it to Triple S Polaris. Uh, just so you guys know, we do work on all makes and models uh, from Talons to KRX, Can-Am, all of it. I mean, we do specialize in Polaris, but we are able to install these supercharger turbo kits. No problem. We have a great service department. If you guys have any questions about that, man, reach out to us, please. Man, where, where is this product made? I mean, is it, is it made in the USA? Um, where, 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 do you, where do you manufacture this? So Chris, we're located in Norco, California, uh, Southern California. Um, we have an, uh, a huge facility there. Uh, we have an engineering department. We have an engine building room. We have two dyno uh, jets with uh, spintrons. Um, we have a four bay uh, R&D shop. We do everything on CAD. We design it. We make the prototypes there. We test it out in you name it, San Hollow, Glamis, Barstow, King of the Hammers. And then once it's all, once we figure out where, that everything's working fine, um, the superchargers themselves are made in Denmark. Um, this is actually a Garrett Turbo for the Talon. Uh, but everything else we outsource uh, to other manufacturers. Uh, and the, the main reason we don't do that in-house is because we like to keep the, the price uh, affordable and, and very competitive to our industry partners in this. Nice, right on. So what, and you, you were touch basing that you were gonna come back about this Talon. Um, what's the reason why you couldn't do a supercharger on a Talon? Yeah, so we, we did try to supercharge the Talon. Uh, we ran into a couple of problems. The way it's laid out, you'd have to cut into the firewall and it's not very practical for somebody uh, 
to you'd have to move the seed and it just didn't work so we this was basically the only option that made sense nice um what kind of horsepower gains are you uh are we reaching when you, you bolt these things on so you could expect 60 percent increase um one of them i can do touch base uh the pro r so we were at king of the hammers this year hp tuner had their dyno there and we honestly didn't know what this thing was going to make mm -hmm. and we had you know We've, we've been working real close with HP Tuner to crack that ECU open. And we did a, we did a couple pulls. We have a YouTube video on it. It went 246 to the 35 Zillas. And that's about 100 horsepower over stock. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So you're, you're talking about HP Tuners. Um, why did you guys go with uh, HP? So HP Tuner has a very good option uh, for reflashing. And they're the only ones that are really going full force with it um you can obviously go standalone with like a motec but i mean that's a very narrow market and mm -hmm. people don't need something that crazy right as far as a uh, tuning solution so we have a really great partnership with them um something that we haven't really uh released yet but it's uh so we have a carb compliant application with oh. with the airboard with for so the kit on the pro r will be carb compliant pretty soon oh wow which is kind of yeah, and neat. that's more for the i mean california right so, yes yeah. yeah so it'll be california oregon and washington okay, but it, it's cool. kind of neat because if you have customers in those states you can ship them a kit you can sell them really a kit. Mm -hmm. okay nice um so they're bolt-on kit but what what about like can you can you take it to the next level? I know these guys are just like try to take put as much power to this machine. But like, is there can you add more power to to the stock? You know, to the OEM supercharger. And what what do you need to do to be able to make more power? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's that's my <laughs> I, language I mean, you're speaking. I like I like a lot of power. <laughs> I want to go fast. And usually, like if you have a tuned down supercharger, but I hear you, you can actually take it to the next level. Yeah. So. so just to, for an example, our Pro R kit is going to be at six pounds of boost, 91 pump gas, very reliable, 100, power, 100 horsepower over stock. However, um, we will be offering a tune it yourself option with a bigger blower. Um, and with all of our kits, it's basically a platform for horsepower. So we sell it to you with our tune at six pounds, but it's really ready for more power. Really, I, I want to say so. Our our intercooler, it's it's automotive grade mm -hmm. and it's rated for like 400 horsepower. Oh wow! So everything's engineered way more than what we put yeah. it out there for. Yeah. So it's definitely ready for more. Obviously, you'd want to make sure that you don't want to blow your motor up. So highly recommend you do an internal work, just like any other thing yeah. that you would supercharge or turbo, pistons, uh, studs, rods. Cool. Nice. Right on. So you have uh, so you have this kit for the Pro R. Do you do you make a kit for the XP one thousand? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's actually our longest running kit, and it's been re doing really well. Um, we make it for the XP, like you said, KRX, YXZ, and then the Turbo for the Talon. We've talked about that, yeah. and then our newest Pro R kit that will be releasing soon. Man, I'm actually going to have to ask this question. You guys all know about the new release of the XP1000. Um, crazy changes, uh, a, a Gen 2 uh, engine. Um, so are you guys going to be coming out with, because uh, I know these guys are going to be eating up this XP1000. They're going to want more power. Are you guys going to come out with a kit for it? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> so on our website, you'll see that there's two options for the kit. And the, the second option is going to be geared towards the second gen. It is. Cool, mm -hmm. cool. I'm super excited about that. I'll tell you what. I, uh, you know, you always get an XP1000. And you're just like NA. They're great for trail riding, but you just want that extra power uh, of a turbo. But instead of doing a turbo, do a supercharger kit. Um, I'm, I'm actually excited to get. I can't wait to get one of those machines in and put a put a Kraftwerk supercharger on it because I really feel that that's going to make a huge difference uh, in in that. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited about it. I don't know what to tell you. So um, hopefully we can come back with another video um, of a Kraftworks kit Absolutely. on an yeah. XP1000 uh, and really see what it does. Hopefully, hopefully do a video outside. So. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's really neat to see that these manufacturers like Polaris are 
they they have something for everybody. It's not just like the the dune to go fast guys. It's yeah. like they're they're covering they're checking all the boxes off, and it's pretty neat that they're doing that. That's cool. So where's this uh, the product you, is made in California, say? But you also said something about Denmark. You said and so you're able to get all this stuff is available. Yeah, so the company that we use for our superchargers is called Rotrex. Um, they're actually the largest OEM supplier for, for superchargers. Um, and we are their biggest aftermarket uh, buyer. Cool. Mm -hmm. So what makes you different from any other uh, manufacturer? So the biggest thing that I take huge pride in is our kits are very OEM-like uh, hardware. When you look at it, you'd almost think that it, it came like that from the factory. factory. And I think I'm, I'm a big fan of factory options. That's the quality that a company like Polaris takes, the extra step to make sure that something something's powder coated right, the welds are good. Yeah. It's just, it's neat to see that manufacturers understand that and they take the initiative to, to compare themselves to a factory option. That's freaking cool. I, man, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to have uh, Andy here from Craftworks. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, we're, we're all new to this uh, uh, when it comes to adding more power. You know, I'm, I'm used to just going fast and with the, just a regular turbo, but um, adding that extra supercharger to a Pro-R uh, will make the, make the biggest difference. And you say that OEM, you know, it's a bolt-on kit. Um, what, what else can you tell me about it? Yeah, so it's, it's running a, at six pounds of boost, uh, uses 91 pump gas. Our injectors are E85 ready if that's something that you want to do. You just have to reflash your ECU for that fuel option. Um, all the air, it's all plumbed just like the factory to the air box uh, up to, to the vents on the side. Like it, we, we try to use as much factory parts as possible. Mm -hmm. Like I said, to keep that, that high quality going. Cool, cool. I really like that you guys are focusing on the OEM look. Um, not a lot of guys want to be able to add a, a, you know, a bunch of different things and have to you know, change your motor out or do anything like that. It's a, it's a bolt-on kit. So what kind of uh, evolving have you guys done, such as um, any of these kits, uh, have you found like better stuff that you've just added to it or tune-wise? Um, so actually, I'm glad you brought that up. This is a good example. So on the turbo, on the, for the Talon application, originally our kit did not have a flex pipe. Um, we had some issues where actually I broke I had the kit on my car like a year before the release. Mm -hmm. So we do not put anything out that's not ready. Um, I actually broke the welds where the flex pipe is. And once we saw there was an issue there, we corrected it. And everybody that had our old flex or our old down pipe got a flex pipe in the mail. Oh, that's pretty We, we said, yeah. okay, there's a, there's a flaw here. We're gonna correct it. Send everybody the, the, the better, more stout. Part. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, well, I mean, where can they find you? So they could find us at Craftworks Off Road on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I'm Andy DeSoto on um, Facebook and Andy dot underscore dot 360 on Instagram. Uh, Craftworks USA for your for website and uh, Skunk 2 Racing. Skunk 2 Racing. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm Chris Mock, Triple S Polaris. Um, you can find us at Instagram, uh, Triple S Polaris. Also Facebook. Um, you can also find us on a website, sspolaris.com. Um, again, www.sspolaris.com. Um, here in Cedar City, Utah. Um, man, it's been really exciting to be able to actually have a chat about uh, the new products coming out. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, let's so. do it again. Cool. Thanks, Sounds Chris. Good, yeah, All thank right. you.